Okay, so I've been teaching a couple people from our summer school for the past week, and I've noticed in particular that this particular advice about when to back seemed to be really, really useful between pretty much everyone I've told this about. So basically, I'm going to make a video and tell you guys. How do you back without missing any, or maybe just one or two creeps at a time? Now, I noticed. Um, when I asked a lot of people, you know, when do you think the best time to back is if you had the choice to back at any time you wanted to? Um, if you wanted to do it in a way where you wouldn't miss many creeps at all. And I noticed that a lot of people um, had vague answers to it. It was, um, you know, it was like when I kill the enemy champion or type of, that type of deal, but um, it, it was literally if you could choose to back at any time without missing any creeps when would you do it? And it seemed no one really actually knew the answer. So I'm just gonna straight up tell you how to do that. So um, so we're gonna let her clear this wave here. First of all, thank god for these tower range indicators. <laughs> I've been waiting way too long for these. But anyways, um, to, to, to do it, all you have to do, you see this wave coming into lane, you just clear it as fast as you possibly can. So I might take a bit of damage here, but that's no big deal. I'm just gonna clear it as fast as possible, and then I'm immediately gonna go back to base. Now, all you really need to know is that if you clear the wave immediately, like as soon as it comes into lane, and then just run like back and then run back, you basically won't miss many creeps at all. Um, and if you time it correctly, or if you run fast enough, uh, you might not even miss any creeps at all. So, uh, you know, if MF was like pushing here. Um, I'd be able to make it back to my own tower before the minion wave even reached my tower. So let's just watch here. So I missed one creep here. And then and can, I, can I make it for this one? I might miss this one. So I missed that one. But I missed two creeps. Um, I backed and I only missed two creeps. Which is honestly fine. It's honestly pretty good. If I can back, I can buy a bunch of items. I can heal up. And I only sacrifice two creeps and instead of like an entire wave. That's fantastic. So. So let's say I, I didn't clear a creep wave immediately, you know, let's say I'm just screwing around here, I'm screwing around here, screwing around here, and then I decide, you know, I have enough gold for an item and I want to back. So I'm going to try to like, clear the wave now, right? So if I try to back now, if you look at the creep wave, it's already pretty much reached the lane, right? And uh, if I try to back now, which I'm just going to do anyways, um, if I try to back now, I'm going to miss a bunch of creeps. So l let's see how many I actually miss. Now, if MF pushes into my tower, I'm going to miss a bunch of creeps. But even if she's literally just standing here, as she is right now, I'm still going to miss a bunch of creeps. So I'm going to miss one. I'm going to miss two creeps there. I'm going to miss three creeps here. <laughs> and then I may or may not miss the siege minion. I'm not too sure, actually. So it doesn't look like... Or I'll miss the range minion, though. So I missed four creeps there, and if my siege minion was targeting the enemy siege minion, I would have lost that siege creep as well. Um, so you can you can see what a difference that kind of makes. Um, you know, it can mean the difference between um, depending on if she actually pushed up to my tower, because um, commonly when you back and the enemy notices you've backed obviously the enemy will push up to your tower, and if MF did that, I would have lost a lot of creeps right there. Um, even even though she just left it in the middle of the lane, I still lost like four like four creeps there, uh, compared to only losing one or two if I just pushed immediately. Um, but that's basically the best case scenario. If she pushed up to my tower, I would have lost pretty much all those creeps. I would have lost an entire uh, siege minion wave, which is... I mean, for for anyone that's played any lane, uh, but especially top lane, um, losing a siege minion wave is is pretty huge. So again, I'm just going to demonstrate. You know, uh, these these minions just came into lane. I'm just going to clear it as fast as possible and then back. See, if you start backing before the minions reach this turret here, um, generally uh, you'll be able to make it back to lane and and not miss too many creeps, if any at all. Um, but uh, I think that's about it. Um, if if you're playing a particularly weak champion, um, 
you can actually kind of abuse this. Like if you're playing Singe, for example, you know, a lot of people think Singe versus Teemo is one of the hardest matchups like ever. Um, personally, I actually don't mind it because what you can literally do is you can back, you can run into lane, and as as there are minions here, you just clear like all of them. And you know, you might take a bunch of damage from Teemo, it's whatever. So I'm just gonna try to clear the creep wave here. So see, I mean obviously I wouldn't be pushed up this far, but you know, Teemo right now would be hitting me like a million times. I'd be like a quarter health and then I'm just gonna straight straight up go back. And then just come back to lane full health again. Now, if you get the hang of this, if you get the timing down, you can actually go back between every single creep wave and still not miss any CS at all. So, you know, if you're playing a super, super weak champion or like you're being hard countered or something and you have hopefully good wave clear, you, you can definitely use this to your advantage. But uh, I think that's about it. That's all I really have to say on it. I mean, go and test it. I know a lot of people from talking to them, they don't really think about when they back, you know, they back when, you know, they have gold for an item, they back when, uh, you know, the enemy champions died and they're low or something. But they never really think about when to back if they actually had the, if they had the choice to back at any time they wanted to. Um, they don't really know what the best time to back is. So uh, I, I invite you to start thinking about it, start thinking about the best time to back if you had the choice to do it. And again, uh, just to keep in mind, essentially all you have to know is the second the creep wave hits the lane, then if you just clear it instantly and then back right there, you should be able to make it back to lane while missing only maybe one or two creeps, but if you're quick enough, you won't miss any at all. Um, but that's about it. That's it for this video. Uh, hope it was helpful.